So here we have a diver video of uh, an underwater deflagration technique. This is a video of the setup. You can see the end of a World War II British ground mine. You can see there the shape charge setup, which is a 65 millimeter shape charge, 250 gram explosive, an air standoff capsule, and a low density incendiary fitted. See the other end of the mine. He's wrapped his firing cable around to stop it dragging. He's just doing a bit of a turnaround. You can see the type of seabed, flat sand, shell, lots of marine growth. You can see there the overall setup. They've also, you'll see in a second, removed some of the crustacean and uh, rust. You can see it there. And you can see the perpendicular aiming point, perpendicular to the mine. So here we have a video of the result of our deflagration. It looks to have been very successful. So we've got a deflagration low order result here, which is pretty typical. You can see the mine has been injected with the low density uh, projectile. Mine has, the explosive has burnt, pressure has built up, and the mine has burst. And you can see it split along the weld, which is part of the construction of this type of mine. It's uh, thin sheet steel rolled and, and welded. You can see the mine charge case is almost empty. There's a few scattered remains where we've had it, at the bursting process, the uh, process has quenched. You can see the mine case has been very uh, uh, badly disrupted. You can see the end plate's been pushed off, a little bit of explosive residue there. Uh, not very much though, and this is all loose now and broken up. Uh, if it was detonated, you'd have about a six meter crater, nothing left, and a lot of damage and a lot of noise created in the process. Uh, you can see there's no cratering. Uh, on some of the videos we've done, you can see marine life still crawling around, it hasn't been killed. Uh, although you would expect any damage to be very, very local and very small. So in the scheme of things, pretty much no effect. You can see the entry point there. You can see him backing off. The visibility is still a bit uh, cloudy. You can see the remains of our shot. You can see where it's split open there uh, and some of the crud has fallen off. There's the back end of the mine, I think. Uh, it looks like it's overpressured the actual um, mechanism end. Difficult to see still, still a lot of marine growth. I think this is another A Mark VI. Yes, it is. In fact, that's the, that is the nose end. See a little bit of lump of explosive there, but it's all been pushed out and broken. That is from, and you can see there, most of the explosives have been consumed or ejected. You'll always get a few lumps here and there, but pretty much it's empty. You can see it's scattered. The threat from this mine now is, is very, very low. You would still treat it with respect, but if you were to move this, all this loose material would just fall out. We could collect it later. You can see there the insides of the mine, the reinforcing ribs. He is very close, so what you're looking at is actually very small quantities. There's the entry hole in the background there. He's moving along. You can see some loose flake in the bottom. This looks like it was Amatol looking at the colouring, which is TNT and ammonium nitrate. It's about 60% ammonium nitrate, which now will dissolve into the environment like your normal fertiliser you put on your crops.